Okay, it is Thanksgiving Day in Canada. It's October 9th, and I am heading out on a quadding camping trip, final one of the year before the snow flies, probably. And I'm heading up to an area that I've never been to before, up by Hudson Bay, going up to uh, my buddy Kevin's sea can cabin slash camping area. He's got his big uh, toy hauler up there as well. Not taking my toy hauler, so this is going to be a little bit of an adventure, but basically I'll be staying in, in a uh, cabin that was converted out of a sea can. And apparently, I've never seen it, but apparently it's really super nice. And it's got everything I need. There's a plug for a generator hookup so I can charge all my batteries and everything. And I am jacked. This is going to be awesome. Okay, and so speaking of Thanksgiving, I just want to say like a huge, huge thanks to everybody that watches QTube. I know I don't say it enough, hardly at all. Everybody knows I started this channel just for uh, me and my buddies to have like a photo album kind of thing to uh, replay our trips, but putting it out to the public and the amount of interest it's gained and support, like I'm, I mean, it, it is very flattering. And I, I really appreciate everybody's comments. I love the comments. The comments are the best. So huge, huge thanks to everybody that watches these videos. And help me out by smashing that thumbs up and leaving some more comments. Greatly appreciate it. guys well we've made it to Kenora another hour north but we're gonna stop in Kenora for a quick fuel up and then on our way about another hour to camp Okay, here we go. There we go. There's Kevin and the uh, sea can. That's my camper. Look at this. His buddy comes with his riding mower and, <laughs> and cuts the lawn out here. This is nice. Holy. Wow. Thinking my door's on this side. Oh my God. I am pumped. And there's the Kev dog. He's got the music blaring. Yeah, Holy. Later. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. The sun is out. And the sun is out. Set up. This is nice. So this is my uh, bunk for the weekend that uh, Kevin is supplying. Holy, look at this. Wow. And it's huge, like you said. Look at the space in here. It's cavernous. It goes on forever. It's kind of a bowling alley. Yeah. But you should archery, I guess. Boy, nice and cool in here, eh? Well, it stays cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Cool. You can get delivered. I don't know if you can see that. When... About eight years ago. Yeah. This is awesome. Nice. Pat's cabin crew. Pat's cabin crew. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can park right where you are if you want. This is good. Okay, good, because it'll be easy to hold my stuff out. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, October 9th, we're here at the Sea Can, Kevin's uh, camp. So just real quick here, we're going to go for a late rip. It's getting close to supper time, so we're just going to go for an hour or two, come back and have something to eat. There's the Kev dog over there. And I don't know which way we're headed, but... North. Yeah. Andrew Chuck's cabin. This is so awesome. Look at our view. That's the Pee Wee River. Look at that, eh? Beauty. 
Kevin's gonna be my tour guide for the, the whole week. All brand new trails for me. This is so friggin' awesome. We don't want to take that trail. That takes us to the river down the ways a bit. The one on our left? Uh, oh, right. th oh, this one here. Oh, okay. Does it keep going or does it just end? Uh, well, it dead ends at the river, but there's there's another old, old shack called Herbie's Shack. Maybe we'll take a drive down there. You can walk into it. Oh, cool. I love those, those old cabins. And I think the people that are watching these videos on YouTube love them too. It's about uh, six kilometers, I think. Six and a half kilometers up to Andrew Chuck's. Oh. A friend of mine from Regina. Right. So whenever we're up here, we go and make sure everything's okay. Check the window covers. Perfect. So for anybody that's watching this, uh, you probably will remember Kevin from uh, my... There was a winter video I put out last year. Last mountain lake ride or something. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is the main trail system comes right off the 983. Okay. Right behind the first camp. So we just made this diversion, nice. uh, which takes us north now. And of course, it used to be an old logging road or something. Still shows on the maps, but. So so does this go up all the way up north to um, reserve? No. This well, this dead ends pretty much at Adder Chuck's cabin. Okay. And then we can cut through uh, swampy area. We won't do that one tonight. And uh, we can get up, if we can get through the swamp, then we can get onto the rail bed, come back into reserve or to weeks. Okay, perfect. This used to be a really bad, bad water hole, bad beaver run. Um, it, uh, it got taken out with some tanner eight years ago. Oh. Geez. I might have some video of that. That's awesome. There is a bypass there, although I think the bypass is just as bad as this now. Oh, is that right? Yeah, oh. it's just kind of rocky down in here is the only... Uh, uh, it doesn't look bad. The only thing. Right. Try not to scrub this out of your uh, fancy wheels. <laughs> but this, yeah. this used to be right full of water all the time. Oh, geez, that stinks. Woo! The guys in the first clearing take this trail uh, up to some of their hunting stands. And we've taken it, and then you, you start bridging north again and uh, get through a pretty good swampy area. We've made it, just, just really depends on the year. I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna just mark it. I'm gonna drive in there and mark it. Yeah, it's a fun little trail. I like looking at these on Google Earth afterwards, eh? Oh yeah, no doubt, eh? Yeah, so uh, the story of Andrew Chuck's cabin. Uh, the cabin was actually built by an American hiding out during the Second World War. No way. So he came and lived in the bush, and when we get there and you see where the river is, he used to have a cable across with a cart in it, or on it, and he would take the cable cart across the river, and he was only about a mile, I think it is, mile and a half from Reserve, which used to be a town, and he would walk into there for supplies, come back, and then pull himself back across the river to his cabin. No way. That is yeah, it's it's kind of neat. And how uh, how old, do you? Old history. So how do you know that? Uh, Andrew Chuck, the guy that owns it now, he uh, he knows the history of it. Okay. They've had it since the 70s, I think. Oh wow. Okay. Unfortunately, it needs a match. It's uh, it's past its life. Is that right, eh? Yeah, I'd have to be pretty hard up. It'd have to be pretty cold for me to spend a night in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, the air is cold, eh? Yeah, as soon as you get away from the sun, you notice it. Yep. <laughs> These are fun trails. Yeah, you get some that are pretty rutted. Of course, a lot of trees down to our left there. So some areas you gotta use the bypass. I'm thinking in late June there'd be a lot of water in here. Uh, you know what? It depends on the year. There, there's definitely more, but it's uh, the the trails themselves are pretty hard. Like they're not yeah. dirt like this, so you can always hit the bypasses. I'm thinking we should have hooked that bypass. She's a little little tight on this side of the tree. Oops. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Well, a little, a little narrow for my machine. Yeah. That bypass coming through the trees here would have been a little easier, but... Yeah, I'm just thinking I'll uh, dive into this quicker here. Looking for a good that spot. Bypass, that bypass comes over right here. Four-wheel drive would work better, I guess, eh? Sometimes. <laughs> the uh, bypass comes over right here and cuts that, but... Right. Yeah, I seen it going around there, but I thought, eh, Kevin didn't seem worried, so I'm not turning in there. So this this is our turn to the swamp. We're, we're almost at Anner Chucks now. So you come out and you hit this trail. Not It's more well used, but we'll, uh, we'll come back and try it. So we're at Andrew Chucks, we can get down oh, to the river. Look at this. The bank is almost gone. It's almost not safe to drive in front of it anymore. Wow. So <laughs> if I was uh, look at the old crapper. <laughs> if I had the lease on this land, I'd be putting the cabin right back in these trees. Oh, this is nice. Put, put the uh, cabin so you're facing out this way. Yeah. You're way away from the bank. Yeah, you'd be far enough from the bank, yeah. So the, so the trail that goes down there and along the, uh, across the river yeah, and that way? Yeah, you can follow this all the way to, uh, to the bridge at Reserve. Oh, you can get Depending to... Depending on the year and how high the river is. You can get to Reserve by that trail, eh? Yep. Cool. Yeah, that'd be a good spot for a cabin. Look at how level it is, too. Yeah. There's the old, and this guy lived in here, eh? Yeah, hit out from the U.S. Army in the Second World War, and he had a cable that ran across to that shoreline. If you look on your GPS, reserve is just maybe a mile across. Is that right? As the crow flies, cool. yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's go have a little tour. I'm going to do a crapper review, too. Okay, here we go. Crapper reviews with Q. Doors still on the hinges. Oh, look at that, it's functional, but holy, that's got, that gets a zero for cleanliness. <laughs> you know, the structure, I mean, it's usable, so you could give it a 0.5. I don't think anybody wants to sit on that. <laughs> There's toilet paper in there. You get a two for the toilet paper because I'm not sure if it's all wet and soggy or not. Those boards were caving in. Structure, I don't know. I guess we could give it a one. Zero for curling us. And no bonus marks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Look at, I love how it's got an address. Trespassers will be violated. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's cool. 2678 what? Oh my god, eh? Wow. Let's have a now look. Yeah, there's is rodents in here for sure. Wow. Get a light. So this is a storage, just storage shed behind us, and this is their sleeping quarters. Was their sleeping quarters. Well, yeah. like I say, I uh, I might be hard pressed to actually sleep in here. Oh, jeez. New calendars. Wow. Oh, and Jesus. You can sin and then you, your sins are forgiven. Some Still some stuff in here. Yeah. Oh, this is... Well, they claim... Mark claims they still come up in the fall hunting and use it. No way. What is... Oh. Oh, that's a spider web. Jeez. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to... He ties his sleeping bag up so nothing gets in it. I can't imagine staying in here. Like you wake up in the middle of the night and there's a mouse crawling across your head, or worse yet, a rat. <laughs> oh my God! Well, this is awesome. I love these old cabins. Look at the all the. You just think about the history, especially this one with that American guy and stuff. So did he end up? Did he build this? No way. That is so cool. I gotta take some pictures.
Cool. Yeah, maybe we'll try their bypass here. Sure. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> I love these trails. Yeah, this is nice country in here. Lots of hills. The forest is thick, eh? Yeah. Well, we'll see what their bypass looks like here. I haven't, I haven't taken the bypass probably in a couple of years. Okay. Well, let's have a let's have a gander at it. Sometimes the bypasses get more chewed up than the main trail. Yeah. Again, yep. just depending on your water level. Yep. I've seen that many times. Oh yeah, this looks like this looks good. Definitely rocky in through here. Yep. Ah, now this is a trail. Oh, look at that big boulder. Nice. Nice, nice, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the uh, difference in temperature already. Yeah. Cools off quick. And the air is damp, too, so it's going right through the clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's going through my top, that's for sure. Looks like another really good trail there. Yeah. Man, just tons to explore. Holy man. I tell you. Oh, yeah. I tell you, like, if I brought James and Taco in here, Every little trail they can find, they they yeah. go they go after it. <laughs> well, it's fun. That's that's yeah. You know, it's it's neat to explore and see if you can make other loops and yeah, for sure. So this is our trail back to camp that we came out on. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So we're just uh, we're just up ahead a little bit further. Oh. To uh, the first clearing, or you can stay around this trail, take you right out to the White's Ranch Road. Another trailhead here. Oh wow. Hang on a sec, Kevin. I'm just gonna mark this one. This looks like a main trail. Yeah. Hard to tell on the trees, but I think the wind's gone down. I don't see the tops moving too much. Yeah, I don't see anything moving. Which equals good for a fire. Yep. I got a nice seasoned steak I'm cooking tonight. Oh! Wow. So, the 983, you can see it right there. So that's, oh, that's, yeah. the, White's, that's the White's Ranch. We just tucked down and around. And this is the, uh, this will take us right into the backside of their camp. All right. Yeah. Here we are, Kevin. Back to the camp. <laughs> 